Dear Diary, Being a Bengali woman isn't easy. So much is expected of you. There are some paths already laid out by others for me. At least at home, I'm safe. My parents are there when I'm angry or upset. They're not controlling and they encourage me to be a part of my womanhood and not listen to any of the negative comments. Dear Diary, I spoke to my mother today. She asked if I ate and if I had school today. I asked how she keep track of everyone but herself. Dear Diary, I just woke up, washed my face and I am getting ready. I think school is very important and I am lucky as a young woman to be able to get an education. I am preparing myself to be an independent woman and be able to provide for myself. Dear Diary, I woke up and had breakfast with my family as my dad likes to eat with us all before leaving for his work. My parents want to send me abroad to study so I can have better job opportunities and a better standard of living. They do not differentiate between me and my brother. Dear Diary, when I asked my mother if she ever wanted a son, she made a face and said no. She said I should be proud of being a girl, and I am. But even if I and everyone in my household believe that, the outside world and its barriers aren't so easily satisfied. A woman once told me, pen in hand, calculator in the other. To survive in this world, you must demand to be known. Demand to be seen. So she is too tall. She walked with purpose. Spoke with pride and conviction. She was everything I wished to be. I also wished for a hardcover book with a classic illustration like those in classic Bangla books. It's weathered, used by generations. Each page adorned with an illustration. The rules would be carefully handwritten. Each page would smell like sandalwood. There are errant many rules, but they're important. Rule 1. If anyone tells you how to cook, listen, then push them out of your kitchen with grace. Rule 2. Never be ashamed for your heritage as a Bengali. Rule 3. As with our patriot animal, the tiger, you also have a tiger within yourself. If anyone says otherwise, scratch them. Rule 4. Be strong and don't let anyone walk all over you. Rule 5. In this world, women must have each other's backs. Therefore, never turn away a woman in need. Our homeland is our mother, but we have other women who have helped us along the way. My grandmother. She never ever hesitated to help someone else even if it meant her going through hardship. She is the reason I'm here today with a roof over my head and food on my plate. She is my role model. She is a blossom of flowers that helped women to bloom. She fought for education and women's rights. She was a warrior for justice. A woman who became the spear to break the stereotype of women in Bangladesh. She is the builder of the eggs which broke down the stereotype that women cannot be enough. We love her as we love our homelands and always look up to her as a great inspirational person. The etiquette of being a successful woman is not the shyness she should hold but rather the fact that she should be bold. The book would tell me that I can sit however I want and I can speak loudly and still be a girl. The book will take me seriously, as society should. Like Begum Rokia. The etiquette of being a successful woman is don't listen to anyone who tells you you can be different.